Good morning, and thank you so much for tuning in. As we are still practicing social distancing, we invite you into this online time of worship. We've been praying for you, and we want to continue to pray for you. Comment below any prayer requests or concerns that you have during this time, and we have an army of ministers ready and on standby to pray over you, to interact with you. They are here. We are in this together. Now, we have a great service planned for you. I'm going to hand it over to the Salvation Army Belmont Praise and Worship Team as they usher us into this time of worship. Stay tuned. Thanks, Ashley. It really is going to be a great time just spending this morning in the presence of God. He is wherever two or three are gathered, even if you're home on your own. We have you, you have God, the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. For people, the presence of God is there with you. We're going to start off this morning by singing, What Can Wash Away My Sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And just remind ourselves of the fact that Jesus is the constant, that God is the constant. In the midst of all this craziness, in the midst of all this chaos, God is constant, and our salvation is still secure. So let's sing this morning. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. Uh, and that he has still saved us even when everything else is crazy. 
So let's sing, the greatness of your love is pouring over us. The greatness of your love is pouring
for us to speak. And if you believe that God has something very special and in store for you, this week give God a round of applause this morning. God, I thank you, Lord, for what you have for me. And God, there's no one else that can make me feel so peace like you do. And we thank you in Jesus' name. do in difficult circumstances? What do you do in uncertainties? Well, this morning, I want to let you know that the God who is still at work is the same God that is with you and I today. And the word that God has given me this week, he says, peace I leave with you. And he says, peace be still. And in everything that we're struggling with, he says, I'm there with you. For a few minutes this morning, I want you to, if you have your phones this morning, keep your phones focused this morning. Just give me a few minutes of your time. As I give you some words of encouragement this morning. Today we're going to explore a character from the Bible who experienced a season of uncertainty. And in between trials of his life, you know, also there are so many in God's word who experience difficulty. We think of Job, we think of Daniel, we think of Abraham, we think of Paul. And all the disciples that walk with Jesus on this earth. And in times of frustration, and in times of pain and suffering, and, and you know, difficult questions come. And we too experience these difficult times. And it's vital that even in the midst of our hard circumstances, the church relies on God. In difficult circumstances, like what we're going through right now, it's very important that the church relies on God's word. It's very important that you as God's children rely on his word. It's very important that we bring our families together to rely on God's word. And maybe God is saying, there's problems in families that need to be fixed. So this time that, you know, I'm giving you to be at home together. Maybe it's a time for you to call your family together and pray with them. Maybe God is saying, you know, your business was doing well, but it can do better. And this is the time to really refocus. Maybe you have drawn away from the Lord and he's saying, this is the time for you to focus. And he's not going to stop until we focus for all on him. And a big idea this morning of my message this morning is that Job never lost his faith in God. But what he did was he trusted God in times of suffering. And my action this morning is, are you trusting God in this time of suffering? Are you trusting God in this difficult time? And may I tell you this today is that even when we don't know why we're suffering, we should trust God no matter what. Lord, I don't know what's happening right now. Lord, I don't know what will happen next week. God, I don't know what will happen for the next six months, but one thing I know, I trust you. And here's a few words that I leave for you today, is that in Job chapter 1, verses 1 to 22, God allows Job to suffer. And Job wrestles with all of this that has been happening to him. While everyone around him loses faith in God or blames Job for his own trouble, here's what our brother Job did. He still remained faithful to God. And in this season of uncertainty, are we still going to remain faithful to God? Are we still going to get up every morning and pray to God? Are we still going to give our tithing to God? Are we still going to encourage? Because the same physician that fixed problem for us two years ago is the same physician that will fix the problem for us today. And by the end of the story in Job, in Job chapter 1 verses 1 to 22, God reveals that Job has not sinned and wasn't being punished. In fact, it never really explained why he suffered and what happened to Job. 
But what I want to tell you this morning is that Job ultimately continues his faith in God. And he continues to get his wisdom from God's word. And God had mercy on him. But may I tell you today is that faith is one of the constant things that Job has throughout his suffering. And many times we may feel as though, you know, our faith is wavering and we, we get frustrated. And we start complaining to God, wishing that, you know, God, why am I living in this time right now? Why do you allow me to be right here when all of this is happening? And in spite of all of that, the answer to that is, have faith in God. Trust that God is at work. Trust that God is good. Trust that God is powerful. Trust that God is loving. And trust that God is merciful. And trust that God is wise. And he knows what he's doing. But may I tell you, this may be a time for us to approach God's throne of grace with confidence saying, Lord, I don't know how it's all going to work out. But I trust you, Lord, that you will work it out in due time. And when we suffer, what or whom do we put our trust in? Who are you putting your trust in this morning? Are you putting your trust in the president? Are you putting your trust in the governor? Are you putting your trust in the mayor? Are you putting your trust in finances? Are you putting your trust in the things on this earth that will pass away? Let me suggest that you put your trust in God. His word will never go void. You will never be empty. Sometimes you feel as though you can't keep going and God says, I have what you need. But here's what I tell you for this week that you will need. And here's some questions that I need you to answer. In times of uncertainty, what do you do? Here's what I want you to remember in times of uncertainty. Is that God directs your path. And this week, God will direct your path. God's ways are higher than this government's ways. God's ways are higher than your unemployment. God's word is higher than anything else that shall come your way. God gives us good things. God gives us peace. God's not done yet. God knows the way. God strengthens us. And here's what we do as God's children. We say, Lord, I thank you. And Lord, I will walk in faith. And may I tell you, there is no suffering that God cannot heal. And last of all, God meets our needs. What is it that God needs to meet right now for you? What are you asking God to do for you? What have you been lacking in your life? Are you empty right now? Are you discouraged right now? Are you bewildered right now? Are you fearful? Well, may I suggest to you that there's no need to be fearful or afraid. God said to his disciples when he was leaving, he said, peace be with you. And here's what I want to tell you this week is that your word for this week is, Lord, in spite of everything happening, I'm going to have peace. I trust you for peace. And when I feel as though I, I'm not at ease, Lord, in my spirit, Lord, I'll say, Lord, bring that peace, bring that tranquility, that serenity to my heart. And God will bring it to your heart. If you believe that God gives you peace, if you believe he gives you peace in the midst of a storm, raise your hands this morning and give him the best praise you have. Say, God, I trust you for your peace this week. I rely on your word, and I trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning as we close out, we're going to go back and sing How Great Your Love. You sing over us your sweet song of hope and life. And I love, I love, I love, I love this bridge because it just speaks of exactly what Lieutenant just spoke about. The, the words that God speaks to us, his love, 
He sings over us a sweet song of hope and life. They're the things that we can hold on to in the midst of all this craziness. So as we sing this bridge again, maybe you need to replace one of those words and replace it with peace or replace it with serenity or tranquility, whatever it is. But let's sing this sweet song that God sings over us. Let's affirm it again for ourselves today. Friends, thanks again for joining us. I hope you were filled and blessed. And at this time, if you'd like to donate to us, donate at salvationmidcarolinas.org. And let me tell you again, God's peace is with you. May the peace of God that passes all understanding guard your heart this week. May the peace of the Lord rest on you. And for next week, we have a special guest. Captain John Phil will be bringing God's word alongside the worship team from the Salvation Army of Belmont. Now you go and have a great week. God bless you.